Yo, what is happening everyone? It is your boy Ilo and welcome back to a new video. After helping tons of people render out their Roblox character, today I'm going to be doing an update to my video I did one year ago. I'm going to be showing you how to do a 3D render of your Roblox character, which can be used for GFX, whether it be thumbnails, profile pictures, or just for personal use. So I'm going to go straight into this render process right now. And if this video does help you in any way, make sure to leave a like on the video, subscribe to the channel, and possibly turn on post notifications notifications so you're notified every time I upload and every time I make tutorials like this. Alright so basically you want to go into Roblox Studio and this is where the first set of magic happens. You want to go to your plugins tab and over here you should have Moon Animator. So basically it is called Moon Animator 2. It is on Roblox and basically I will leave a link in the description down below so you don't need to go find it. You can just click that link and install it for yourself. Now once you are on your base plate you want to go over to the character inserter on the Moon Animator plugin. After clicking that this screen should pop up and your account should be defaulted into it. If your account is not here, you can paste your player name slash ID in this box right here. And if you are unaware, your player ID is these numbers in between your profile, but I'm actually going to be using my friend Earth Collapse for this tutorial. So I'm going to paste his number here. It should pop up with him if I click enter. So there he is. And then basically this is where you want to do your first step. You want to avoid R6 because that is not what you want to do. You want to click either R15 or old R15. I usually go for the old one, but for this tutorial, I'm going to go for R15, even though there's basically no difference. You then want to click insert and then it'll insert right here. You can close out of this. And then as you can see, the character is right over here. Now, once the character is in, you want to go back to your moon animator at the top. When you click it, this screen will pop up. And obviously mine says it's out of date because I haven't updated it since my last tutorial. But since there's basically no difference, I'm just going to be using this one that I currently have. What you want to do on the screen is click file and then you want to click new animation. Once you click that, this will pop up and you want to actually just name it. So I'm just going to name it video tutorial like this. I'm going to click confirm and then this track will pop up. Now I've just minimized it, but what you want to do from here is click the plus. You want to move this out of the way, click your character and then make sure your rig is checked. Once all that is okay, you want to actually click okay. And as you can see, all these options will pop up on the left side of the moon tutorial, the moon animator, not the moon tutorial. Anyway, now from here, you can just click onto your character and any body part you click on, you can now edit. So for this tutorial, like the last one, I'm going to be making him do a waving pose. So basically he's going to be waving with one arm. I'm going to speed run this so you can see it in two times speed. So you don't need to watch the whole process of me doing it. And then basically after that, I'm going to be showing you how to actually render it. All right, so after 30 seconds of doing this, I've done this pose. It's very simple, very easy, but it's very effective. So what I'm gonna do now is show you how to actually get it into Blender. You will need to use Blender to actually render out your character. And what I'm gonna show you right now is something that most videos will not. So I actually use an older version of Blender. I find it way easier for this tutorial. So basically when you go to the Blender website, you wanna click previous versions. Once you click that, it'll take you to this page. You wanna scroll down and then you wanna click where it says download every version of blender once you click that it'll take you to this kind of screen it might look a little confusing but you want to scroll down and you want to click where it says blender 2.78 once you click that it'll take you to another confusing screen and from here you want to just go to blender 2.78 C and then you want to just do the Windows 32 version or the Windows 64 version for your convenience I'm gonna leave this link in the description so you won't need to do any of the previous steps you just click the link it'll send you to this page right away and then you can just download your version from here so if we go back to the Roblox Studio Studio, what you want to do from here is find your character in the Explorer tab. So mine's Earth Collapse. You want to right click Earth Collapse or whatever your character's name is and you want to go down and click export selection. So then you want to save that file into a folder. So I'm just going to name it video file. I'm going to save it 
and then now it exported into your folder after this is done you can now close out of roblox studio if you want i'm gonna keep it on just in case i made a mistake but usually now you can close out if you feel like you have done everything you need to do and then for reference this is what you should have in your file you should have an obj file a mtl file and then just like a png of the actual character all right so once you open blender you're gonna see this pop up right over here you just want to click anywhere on the screen to remove it and then you'll be set with this block to remove this block you just want to click delete on your keyboard and then click this delete option and then basically from here on you won't have that block in your way now basically from here you want to go to the top left side and then go down click file go down go to import and then go to wavefront.obj once you click that you want to locate your folder where your file is and then once you find it you want to click the obj file not the mtl file you want to click the obj file and then you want to go up to the top right of your screen and click import obj once you do that the character you want to render will probably be in a weird spot or it might not even be on the grid so you want to scroll out or scroll in to find it once you locate it you can use these arrows to move it to the center Center. Now you're probably wondering why it's gray and why you only see the back of them basically to fix the view You want to click the middle button on your mouse and then basically you can while clicking down on it You can move and then you can basically go in front of the character So basically click down on your mouse drag it while holding down the middle mouse button You can then zoom in and then you're ready to work on your character The first thing you want to do is go to resolution and type in 3840 by 2160. This is 4K resolution, which is the best for rendering because when you do this, you can actually use it with anything because the quality is so high. Then you want to take this scale, bring it up by clicking and dragging to 100%. This will just make sure that the quality is good and ensure that the render goes well. After that, you want to go down to this drop down menu called shading, click it, and then alpha, you want to change it from sky to transparent so that your background is transparent. So this is all you need to do here. Then you want to click this glow and then you want to check ambient occlusion environmental lighting and indirect lighting now you're probably wondering why your character is still gray you want to click this plus in the top right it's a little hard to see but you want to click it it'll open up this menu and then this is where you want to click textured solid and as you can see your character now has its texture but you're not done yet you want to click ambient occlusion as well to get it all that shading to make it look even better and now it's as simple as that now you just want to go into your camera and render it this right here beside your character is what the camera is you actually want to right click it and then that's making it selected and to go into it you want to click the zero number on your numpad on your keyboard but before we do that in my last video I had a lot of people asking what if I don't have a numpad how can I get into the camera and basically I'm about to help a lot of people a big chunk of people in fact that had this issue basically you want to go to the bottom left click view and then you just want to click where it says if I can find it camera and then you click it and you're in the camera so whether you click the zero on the numpad or you use that shortcut you're now in the camera and to move around you just want to click shift plus the letter F on your keyboard and now you can move around with WASD freely with your mouse. So basically when I render, I usually like going on kind of an angle. So instead of going straight on like this, I make sure I'm on a little bit of an angle like this, maybe like a little bit more down. And I do it something like this. So this is kind of what I would get from a render. I make sure to get it as centered as possible, maybe a bit zoomed in like this. And then basically once you're done with your positioning, you want to click the left button on your mouse. And then from here, you want to go back to this camera and then you want to just click render. Now, depending on your computer, it'll vary how long this takes. For me, a 4K render literally takes like 15 seconds. As you can see, it's almost done. And look how good it's turning out. And just like that, not even 10 seconds later, my render is done. But now you're probably wondering how to actually download it. It's very simple. You go to the bottom left, click image, click save as image. Then you want to locate the folder you want to put your render in click save as image it'll then bring you back to this page once it has saved and now you can freely close blender without any issues and as you can see from this we actually got this very very nice render i also wanted to say that if you in fact want me to make you a profile picture out of your render or if you want me to do the whole rendering process for you myself you can order on my fiverr it's five dollars for either a profile picture or a render and i can get it to you in under 24 hours so if this interests you make sure to click the link in the description down below but anyway that has been the tutorial hopefully you enjoyed if you did make sure to 
to like the video and subscribe. And one of my biggest questions in my last video is if there's a mobile way to do this. If you do need this tutorial on mobile, make sure to leave me a comment in the description. If I have enough comments asking for a mobile tutorial, I will make it in the coming weeks. But yeah, guys, have a great day. Again, hopefully this tutorial did help you. If you haven't watched the last one, make sure to go watch it. And I'll see you guys in the next video very soon. Peace out, guys, and have a great day.